Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. All right, so the next celebrity reading that I'm going to do is Demi Lovato and Wilmer Valderrama. I can't see without my glasses. Valderrama. All right, Wilmer and Demi. Okay, so I've been asked to do this couple. I guess, um, I don't, you know, again, I don't know anything about these people. I didn't even check their birth dates. Oh gosh, I'm going to probably be doing that while I'm doing the reading then. So, okay. So when I think about Debbie, Demi and Wilmer, um, I get a guy that is completely and utterly in love with this woman. I feel, okay. Somebody asked me, I think it's Cheryl asked me to do this reading. She told me that they were together for six years. They split up and she overdosed or something like that, and um, he's with her. So I feel this man loves this woman very, very much, very much. When I think about the two of them together, I feel like he's the caretaker. He is the supportive one. Um, I feel like this guy could even take a back seat to help her with her career. And... Um, uh, her problems. This guy's selfless. He really is. I feel that he would do anything for this woman. And that's putting his needs second. And this is the way every man should be, I think. But um, really nice guy. This guy, um, I feel, um, got to a point, though, where he wasn't doing enough for her anymore. And it's not because she was demanding too much, but I think he saw um, what he could do and what he, what he couldn't do. I don't know if she's got a lot of demons or um, it's beyond him. So when I think of uh, Wilmer, I, I get this feeling of, I've tried, but there's nothing I can do. There's, there's, this is too far gone. She's, I don't want to say she's broken, but those are the words that kind of come to my mind. Like there's, 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 there's I can't help her. She's too broken for me. And I've tried and I tried and it's not getting me anywhere. That's the feeling I get. I get this feeling of frustration from him and defeat. I feel whatever her problems are, he was defeated by it. I think he really hung in there because he he do, he still loves her. He's very protective of her. And I don't know why. I don't know why he feels the need to protect her. Maybe that's just his way. But when it comes to the comes comes to her, I, I feel like he would um move a mountain if that's what made her happy or that's what made her better. Because I really feel that he, uh, he th this, these two kind of remind me of, if anybody's seen or knows, like I, I did a reading on Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love, I get the same sort of a feeling um, that, that he is the saver. He, he tries to be the one that helped her and um, it was beyond him. He couldn't do it anymore. So, uh, but he still loves, he loves her very much, very much. And I feel he's close to her in his life. He's close to her. So I don't, they've been split up for how long? I don't know. But I feel that, um, uh, like, I don't know who broke up with who here. I, they always like to make it very balanced looking um, on the TV, you know, tabloids, things like that. Like, we have respectfully decided to split. You know, there's always one person you know, that decides to do this. But um, I feel that he was the one who probably initiated it because he just felt that this was beyond him anymore and he couldn't do what he was doing. Um, but I do feel that he still loves this woman very much and wants to be a part of her life. He still has hope. I feel he still has hope that maybe she will get better and um, he won't have to, because I feel like he really gave up a lot for this woman. He really did. And um, he's a great guy. I, the only place I know him is from that uh, 80s show? From that 80s show or that 70s show? Something like that. 
So um, unfortunately, I feel that he felt that he had to let her go because there was no more, not, not much more he can do for her. And it was starting to um, take a toll on him. So I think he had to step back and become a friend and um, help her in a different, in a different aspect, not the boyfriend, but as a friend. So um, I really feel that he just couldn't do it anymore, whatever her problems are. So he gave up a lot and I feel he gave up, uh, he, he, he did whatever he could for her. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Let's see what the messages are. He really, I feel he's a really like a caretaker to her, looked after her. And I think he wanted more of an equal partner. And he still wants that. He still hopes that with from her or, you know, with her. Messages regarding Demi and Wilmer. Demi and Wilmer. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords, okay? So the Eight of Swords is a card about self-imposed restrictions, it's isolation, it's imprisonment. And you can see here, this woman is not really imprisoned by these swords. She could easily unbind her arms, take the blindfold off, and um, uh, walk out of this situation, walk out of the, between these swords. But this is where this person is comfortable. These people that are usually in this Eight of Swords position, they stay in their situation or they stay, um, well, in their situation because this is what they know and this is where they're comfortable, okay? So he stayed in the situation because he was comfortable, you know, and same with her. Like whatever her issues are, she doesn't know anything else, okay? Then we have the devil. All right, the devil talks about addiction, greed, envy, materialism, compulsion. It's about being, it could be addictions to drugs, sex, um, gambling, whatever the case is. It's allowing a situation to control your life, all right? So he's, that the situation, whatever was going on with her, has overtaken his life and it was controlling um, it was controlling him too okay and then we have the eight of wands and the eight eight of wands is about speed action and quick changes so um, these you can see these wands are already in flight okay so this is about news coming fast it's about quick changes and um, again uh, uh, action okay so action had to be taken quickly I feel okay all right what does Wilmer feel for Demi what does Wilmer she's like you know what when I think about Demi I feel like a, it's a little girl a lost little girl and he's almost like the parent looking after her so this is not equal relationship it's like daddy and child. And it's like her kind of going, I need help, please help me. And all he does is help, 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 help. To the point where he's not, he's not getting it back. And it's, it's one-sided, right? What does Wilmer feel for Demi? But he can't let this woman go. I still feel that he cannot let this woman out of his life. What does Wilmer 
feel for Demi. All right, I'm just going to go to the book because see this Eight of Wands has come up again. All right, look at all the cards I have. See all these cards? So it's come up again. It's a repeated message. I'm just going to go to the book and see what um, Eight of Wands... We're on wands, wands, where are you? I know what the message of the Eight of Wands is, but I just want to see what it means for this question. All right, you are waiting for an outcome. You will not wait long. Events set in motion are moving speedily to their in in inexorable conclusion. Okay, so this card is saying that um, they're waiting for something, okay? Um, what does he feel for her? He's waiting for an outcome of something. You will not wait long. Events set in motion are moving steadily to their inexorable conclusion. So he could be waiting on her for something, okay? Waiting, and then he will draw a conclusion from that. All right, then we have the judgment card, okay? That's number 20. I hate Roman numeral. Did I ever tell you guys that? Judgment. All right. The message of the judgment is clear. You are being called to do something. You might not want to hear it and are actively drowning it, it, drowning it out with the noise of your daily life. You might be afraid of the call and the changes it will bring. Listen to it and face it with courage and action. It promises a more fulfilling life. All right, so he's waiting to hear about something before he makes any more decisions, and it looks like he's being called to do something. It might not be what he wants to do, but it sounds like he's going to probably stay in her life and still help her. All right, and then there's the last card, and that's the sun, and the sun is about a joyous outcome, okay? The sun is the luckiest card in the deck. The message of the sun is that of peaceful contentment with the world and its workings. You understand what you can and don't fret about what you don't. You understand yourself and your role in the universe as much as you can, and you are okay with it too. Life doesn't get much better than this. All right, so it seems to me he's waiting for an outcome. And once he gets that outcome, he's going to um, do what he's called to do. And I think that's still to be um, in, in Demi's life. Okay. And then I will just see what we have to expect the next three months with these two. card falls out I put it back till only one card falls out I'm waiting for one more there we go all right okay so what can we expect in the next three months we have the four of wands so we have this is a very strong friendship between the two of them there's stability here between them okay all right we have the queen of swords I don't know Demi's birth date let's look it up uh Demi Demi Lovato, birthday. August 20th. Zodiac. She's right on the cusp of Virgo and, and uh, Leo. Okay. 
Leo. So she's a Leo. But um, so this this uh, card here, I believe, is there's going to be some truth telling going on. Okay, there is a friendship here, very sol solid friendship between the two of them. But either, like, I feel like she's going to either have to face some truths, or there is some truth telling that's going to be going on here. And then we have the tower, big changes. There's going to be some big changes coming here in the next three months. She's going to have to rebuild something. This is about your tower. The tower crumbles and you have to rebuild. Okay. All right. So something is going to be happening here, but they have a good solid friendship and I believe he's going to be there by her side. She's going to have to face some truths. That's what the Queen of Swords is about. Okay. All right. I hope that uh, you guys enjoy this reading. I do do personal readings. If any of you guys, people have been emailing me and asking me, I do have personal readings that I do. Um, if anybody is interested, this is how my readings are done. I read other people's feelings and emotions. I pick them up. That's how I do it. And um, uh, I also do tarot cards as well. If within the reading, they usually back up my instincts and my um, my intuition. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. All right. Take care and thanks again for watching, everyone. Okay, bye-bye.